What's up world? So today I've got a cool review. Uh, hopefully it'll be quicker than not. But it's on the Lansky Firefighter's Battle Axe. This came in their uh, Tactical Apocalypse Survival Kit. Or as they call it, the Task Kit. Um, it's kind of like a bag that comes $200, comes with a bunch of stuff that's kind of like the bag you buy to keep in your trunk type of thing um, for those imagined worst case scenario um, kind of situations and this is by far my favorite piece from it this is by itself let me double check yeah it's $86.99 from Lansky.com pretty sure they have a ton of coupons that you could stack up for that too but let's just real quick Check out Amazon's pricing of it. Um, so you're looking at about 50 bucks for this, which is really on par. If you look at some competing options, there really isn't much of anything that's out there that's like this. This is a really unique um, piece of steel, I guess we can call it. Um, long story short, though, there isn't really much of anything else I'd rather have in my hand if I felt threatened in any way shape or form like it's a little short I guess but aside from that like this thing is just monstrous uh, it is a full tang pretty sure the tang stops at at that hole I'm not positive it could could go past that but um, I was definitely I talked to Lansky about this and they they said it's a completely full tang um, the key features I think about this that we can go over is that it is designed with fire fighting in mind so like you know uh, inside houses and things they specifically made it so that this handle was insulating if you were to hit electrical live wires or something up to 10,000 volts you will not get shocked if you're just holding this part of the handle um, it's kind of a, a bark like a tree bark type finish I will say that this this gets at your skin if you're really chopping for say 20 minutes or so you're gonna wish you had gloves on let's put it that way uh, they have some type of wrench that fits like a they're calling it a hose wrench maybe to, to adjust something with fire hoses this is for um, the gas valve I think the yeah, or yeah the natural gas shut off for your house um, if it doesn't just have a big easy grip knob this tool is what's made to uh, to tighten it. It isn't a it isn't a plus sign like that it's just one it's kinda like a, a flathead type bit but they made it across so that you can finagle this tool in there to make it fit no matter how it's set up. This is made of 1075 um, tool steel and to be honest, it's unbelievably tough. I have done nothing but try to break this thing. Just because I know that the zombie apocalypse isn't happening. So you might as well enjoy the tools you have while you have them. And uh, uh, like I've hit rocks and things with this. I, I've done all sorts of junk. And it just keeps begging for more. Like it's not going anywhere. Um, I will say that the edge retention is is pretty decent. Uh, I have a K-Bar large heavy Bowie which is 1085 steel from their spec and I will say it does have a little bit better edge retention than this bad boy um, but completely different blade. Can't even really compare them. For batoning with this thing it's pretty decent. Um, I, I found that the the curve of the blade here isn't exactly something that you'd want to look for when you're batoning. Kind of makes it so the axe doesn't exactly want to go straight through whatever log you're batoning. It might skate off to the side a bit and then come out either side of the log. Not a big deal because that profile makes sure that it splits really well. What else do we got going on? Comes with a leather sheath. It's adequate, I think, for the price it and kind of the intention. I mean, it's an axe. I mean, you just need something to, to make sure you're not cutting yourself before you're using it. Um, this, I will say, one of these busted out. One of the, the eyelets here. Lansky 
offer to replace it, but um, I would have had to send it back to them because they like analyzing all their defects. And I was just like, you know what, I don't feel like doing that. So I guess maybe if this one breaks too, I'll take them up on that offer. But until then, oh well, no hard feelings. This this is even sad overnight outside, so you can see there's a little rust going on. That might have been why that happened, but um, aside from that, that's the sheath. Pretty decent. Definitely thick leather. Doesn't feel like this thing's going anywhere. Reinforced there. Uh, back to this guy. It uh, has 600 pounds, I think, of like just it. <laughs> you know, like I guess if this were like a bar, it could support that much. So I guess you know, prying to some extent, you can just about try to pry anything open you want. This here wasn't sharpened from the factory. However, I did put an edge on it with the Axe Machete Sharpener um, by Lansky. This thing's pretty cool. It's definitely not something you want to go using on like a standard blade like this. Not that you couldn't, but this really is not going to put a pretty edge on your blade. It'll put an unbelievably quick and workable, usable edge, but I don't know if you, if I can get in close there, you can just see that it's, it's an edge that's designed to be working, not, you know, slicing paper or just sitting on display somewhere. Oh, let's see. Um, this was sharpened at one point. I put the edge on it. It wasn't, it was pretty sharp from the box, but not intentionally sharpened. It still had paint over the edge. Um, so I went ahead, scraped all the paint, and I, I put a decent edge on it, but it has since chipped, um, from my rock test. But yeah, I can't say enough about how I don't even have a tool that comes close to, to meeting what this does. I mean, you can, you can pick all the hammers you want, or the, you know, the fixed blade knives, but this thing just, oh, you just hear that it weighs 28 ounces like this thing whew, you throw it at a tree it just sticks right in if you're good at throwing them yeah so again guys that's the battle axe by Lansky hook yourself up with one. Oh, oh, oh! and for you cutlery lover lovers out there I'm pretty sure that he's got a coupon if you go on Lansky.com and you just type in cutlery lover I'm pretty sure they have a discount um, although it probably won't get you as low as what Amazon's getting you. Cool guys, peace.